Hello, this is your friendly neighborhood Slavik, and we are continuing our speed run as Congo, where we are planning to get African power achievements. So unite whole Africa, and I would like to do it before 1600. You can see that Sakalava, Nupe, and Semin are my vassals. So it's all about Northern Africa, a little bit of the Western Africa, and a few provinces in South Africa. First things first, I'm going to start in with Sakalava because I need to start annexing them. Keep in mind, I need to annex my vassals as well for this achievement. My choice with Pamluks is ending in 5 years, so once that happens, I'm going to attack them and call Ottomans to help me. So, if Ottomans will be helping with the Mamluks, they will be not defending Tunis, so this will be my chance to go and destroy the Tunis at the same time. On truce map mode, you can see that I have a lot of free expansion now, and I'm probably gonna start with Machina, which is protected by Portugal. This is actually good news, because if I attack Portugal, I, sh I could be able to break the alliances with England and Castile, if I occupy enough of the provinces. I just need to go here, occupy this, and it should be enough. Let's actually do that. I'm going to send these guys on the border with Portugal, these guys on the border with Machina, and we are about to start the war. And at the same time, I can go and attack Ethiopia, which is protected by no one. The question is, do we have a claim on Ethiopia? Our vassal has, so that's just perfect. First step, start annexing Sakalava. And theoretically, it would take until 1580, but right now we have decreased, see, diplomatic competition because of our extension, and that because we annexed one of our subjects. Yeah, we could become an empire, but we need way more prestige. I guess I'm going to try finding it somewhere. So let's attack Machina for conquest of Timbuktu. Okay, you go take care of Machina. You go take care of Portugal. We can try fighting our first battle of Portuguese in this campaign. Don't run away from your destiny! Oof! <laughs> Ninth of them. Oh my god. Yeah, I think we need to abort this mission on the 8th of November. Run, fools. Runfuls, okay. This is fine. I'm, I'm gonna kill them anyway. Forcing it with Oh, yes. Yeah, that's what I meant. Second try. Let's do this. The damage actually will be very similar, and they'll be even having a little bit of advantage in the numbers. How does any of the tech? I have the 12th one, I have the 11th. That might be a tough battle because of this. Uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Never mind. A tough battle, yeah, for sure. I can wipe this 5k, yeah, I'll wipe this 5k, because they are coming a little bit late. Bye bye, Mr. Portugal. I didn't even wipe them. Slave traders, what is going to give it to me? I even get this, which is giving uh, slaves in Sofala instead of my gold mine. What about snow? National Alliance plus 5. Improved relations minus 20. For what? Global trade power? That doesn't make any sense. I'm just gonna get this. How close are we to peace out Portugal as we got here? They would accept the peace deal, but... <laughs> Let's first... Go and destroy them in the Battle of Ceuta. Yes, 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 yes. I'm one tech behind, remember that. Even with this, that was an easy win. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna... Exactly break the alliances with uh, England and Castile, there's nothing more. And uh, maybe I want to take war reparations. I think I will not take war reparations. I want a shorter truce because uh, we need to start eating them. So just break the alliances. Now I'm going to piss out Machina on top of that. And come back with all of those troops to Western Africa. And in two years, I think less than two years, my truce with the Mamluks is also ending. So I'm getting uh, one stack on the border of Tunis already. But the other stack on the border with the Mamluks right here. Well, unfortunately, our gold era just ended. But it's fine, we still have 46 years, not that many more provinces to conquer. Our ruler just died, and this is a regency, but this is actually good news. Of course, for 10 years I'll be having 215 ruler, which is not the best, but it's still fine, we are generating a good amount of mana, but once this 10 years moves, I'll be having 646 ruler waiting for me. It's time, let's go and declare war on the Mamluks. Declare, call the Ottomans, and we need to carve position as, as many provinces as possible here, so Ottomans will not occupy it. Remember that we need, uh, let's go for the regions, this is still uh, considered Africa, so we need all of these provinces for ourselves. The rest, 
it can go to the Ottomans, but I will not give them anything, probably. Next step, attack Tunis. So, you see, Ottomans cannot help them, because Ottomans are in the same war as me, on my side. So they cannot be on the other side in the war against Tunis. So I'm using this to go and rush them ASAP. From Tunis, I'm going to, of course, break their alliance with Ottomans and take as many provinces as possible. The war score cost is 241, so after this war, you remember, I'm taking the cheapest provinces, pretty much. So now after this war, the total war score cost is still 166, so we'll need two more wars to defeat them. Before we actually peace out Mamluks, I'm gonna attack Tlemcen, because Ottomans, of course, just allied them. So just attack. Same reason, you know, as we did as we did with uh, with Tunis. Just attack them, use them. <gasps> they didn't pay for the fort. I guess it's fine. Just look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Look, 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 look at what, I, what is going to happen here. Get to this province. Ah, that was down. Get to this province. Breach the walls. Rush this. Tick, tick, tick. And let's go take care of the capital now. Now I'm gonna do what I promised. So pillage capital of Yemen. So I'll just do this. Take some money, break the lanes in the Mamluks. Let them zap as well because I'm gonna. Oh, that is just my dark access. Peace out. And my capital is already having 49 development. I wasn't doing much of concentrating development uh, because I didn't feel like a need to do it. But I did a couple, so you can see I'm earning 13.96 from uh, production of gold and this will most probably deplete in some time. This is an easy piece. Let's piece out the up separately. Take care of him. How is our extension? Oh, still have plenty of extension. Now piece out uh, Tlemcen. I can become an empire thanks to this because I got the prestige. So this helps a lot with the gaff capacity which was becoming a problem slowly. Tlemcen now. It's in case, I want actually to get a border with uh, with Portugal here and yeah, just take good borders. There's plenty of power points to spend on this. This is fine, our overextension is just on point. The problem is I want to take another 90% overextension from the Mamluks. And the next step is to go and fight the Portuguese. I'm just thinking if I can win with them on the navy. So if we go to the navy, not the armies, we go to the navies, we go to Portugal, you can see that they have 8 heavy ships. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What if you use this navy to destroy them? I guess... I, I mean, we, we can try, right? Let's go and take this uh, this navy straight over there. What's interesting, in the next month, I'm gonna to get another Coventry form. And here is where the fun is coming. Well, theoretically, I could just stay as I am right now. It's super OP, right? We have everything that we need. But, to make it even funnier, I can become a horde. As in a horde, to be even easier for us to go and conquer everything even quicker. So just become a horde. That's it. You can see that all of these reforms are the same that we had. And on top of that, we are also a freaking horde. So we can raise the provinces, you know, before quarrying. This is going to be super fun. Yes, this is free power points. Let's actually go do that. Remember, to raise the province, the shortcut for it is Z. If you didn't know. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah, that's plenty of free power points for us. Which we have already a lot. But, you know, this will be additional boost of this. Oh, uh, yeah, and our extension is just 67 now. So, actually, I'll just go and peace out uh, the Mamluks. Same as I wanted to. Go send the peace deal. And same here. And all of those princes, wherever I can. I'm gonna raise them. Just do it. Raisin, and now, when I want to core those princes, the extension is 134. It's still quite a lot, but you know what I can do as well? I can cancel coring this and this, and I can just give it to my vassal, of course. Well, Semi is already slow. Of course, it uh, won't decrease the build 100, but it's 108 actually now, so it actually helped a lot. And you remember that I have tribal conquest castles play right now for everyone that is born with me. Just go for the co tribal conquest and start destroying these guys. This stack also needs uh, additional yeah, leader. This will be an easy peasy war. You can see that I probably even have the naval superiority. Uh, just go and hide this fleet so it will, it will fix a little bit. You see? And if this, yeah, this, this ship little, needs a little bit of love. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit too early to defeat uh, Portugal on the navy. 
So I have to run away from this. It's fine. I probably just need to build a couple of heavy ships. You can see that, yeah, I can afford it for sure. Let's just uh, build it actually here. The biggest disadvantage of going Horde is that you don't have that much of an in-state. But this is not such a bad thing for us. Because first of all, we don't need power points because we race everything. We have power points. Second of all, it gave us a lot of crown land actually. So we'll be able in the future to get out of absolutism. But we'll, there will be no future because we're ending this run soon. So here, we just get the general cost. Let's get the maximum power. And probably I'll just go for so for uh, the gaff capacity because it will be coming close to to minimum soon. Okay, yeah, it's actually stupid when I thought they did not allow me to land on this boa, but they did allow me to land on Algav. And you can go and start destroying their armies. I need around 80% of war score probably, but as soon as they get the capital, this is BGG. That's a stack wipe. Yeah, free war score. Just go and siege this down now. Did not even need to siege down this boa. I just won a couple of battles. So, what I'm going to take is all of these provinces here in Africa, the islands, and South Africa. So, this way, or maybe not that much, this way we are way closer to get whole Africa for ourselves. And all of these provinces, same case, I'm going to raise them, which is going to be plenty of power points. Which, yeah, we already have a lot. And I'm just thinking, what to do with the institution? How is the institution? 7.9%. So what if we state something, yes, for example this, and this, and this. Those three have the institution. I, I don't even probably need to full state any of those, just part state them. That could make it enough, it's 8%, and if I fully state it, that could be even more enough probably. Let's actually fully state it, I have power points to do it. Yes, 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 yes. After stating it's 8.3%, but I can also decrease the autonomy now. Tick, tick, tick. What is the institution again? It's in these provinces. So now this is C9.8. So I pretty much need like one or two more provinces. Is it here as well? It's in Fayum. So let's state Fayum and decrease the autonomy. Let's screw it. And now, after a month tick, come on, after a month tick, there it goes, I can embrace the institution, but don't, don't, don't do this, I will lose 300 mil points, are you doing it? I guess I'm just going to take this deck, now I'm gonna embrace the institution, this is very good, <laughs> we still don't have another one, that's fine, let's take this deck, but just once, because I need still need diplo points for annexation, uh, let's take this, just to be closer to up to being up to date. I'm paying probably a lot for advanced research, and it's not actually that bad. And core the rest of the provinces. Next step now is going to get more merchants. Of course, we don't have any problems with money, especially if I turn off rooting out corruption. But it will be still really cool to get more of the merchants. Remember that you cannot create trade companies within your same region subcontinent, so I cannot create them here. From uh, Gulf of Aden, I already have a merchant. For Alexandria, I already added this one and this one to trade company, and I can try with this, try with this, and the Kyra will be mining later. And in Tunis, I don't have anything yet. Why in Safi, there is number one, number two not yet. Yeah, for Safi is one for now. Should be better in Timbuktu, where it's going to be Let's just destate this, actually, I don't need this stated anymore. Let's add number one, number two, and this is not mine, this is mine. This state, number three, this is not mine. I'm going to add whole Ivory Coast to a trade company. Why in Katsina, this is number one, this is number... This state, this is number two. And this is in the hands of uh, my vassal. West Africa company has 38%. This one has 47 and it's here, right? So it's Timbuktu. So what I can do, I can improve one of the trade centers to level 2. Let's do it in 2, even 3 trade centers, I can afford it. This is okay, so there'll be one merchant. In Margaret we have 12%, so now in Guinea we have 41 and Egypt we have 49. So in Egypt it's the same case, let's just increase uh, some trade centers to level 2. Whatever we can do. So now if we give it a month tick. Oh, just lose the ducats. 
Now you can see that we're going to have two additional merchants and five in total. And I have no idea when I go, where I'm going to use them. We could transfer them from Gujarat. That's one guy. Here I can't do much, honestly. And you could transfer from Katsina to Ethiopia. Especially if I divert straight from Nupe. We've got the new era. I have no idea what's this. Okay. Oh, new ruler, first of all. Yeah, the regency just added to so 646. And the new era is pretty bad. Yeah, we don't want the 226. <laughs> Let's go with the prestige decrease again. We have plenty of time. The ruler is 15 years old. And let's get all of these beautiful bonuses from this, while I'm going to also attack Yolov and Mali in a second to keep clearing all of the border. Ottomans are calling me into the war. Ottoman conquers of Kataro. They attacked Venice and they are fought, fighting Austria. Okay, I'll accept the call to arms, but I'm not going to do anything in this war. And another reminder, yes, we just peace out the war. It means what? Tons of new power points from simply raising the provinces and the last one here is going to be Timbuktu. With these points that I got I can freely core the provinces and overextension is not even a hundred thanks to this. But actually from the money that we have what if we invested into a great project just for memes? This will give us you see the the most important bonus is coming on the level 2 here the tech cost. Could be a little bit useful but it's not like a really Gigantic and useful bonus, but I have plenty of money and I want to just for memes have at least great project And I'm just going to use a couple of thousand of manpower to speed this up So it's level one and the next level will cost two and a half thousand So I get into level two to get a five percent tech cost. Now goes first annexation which is of Sakalava So we got Madagascar in our hands. So it's getting better and better and right now we have 350 cent out of 462 Provinces, so with Semyon, Nupe, and those couple will end this. And this area is far better, Enrique, not the just Tamara. And yeah, this is 20 years difference between them, so I think it's just perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Truce with Tunis just ended, so I'm just going to declare war on them, show superiority. This will also actually call the Mamluks into the world, from which I'm going to take those two promises, those three promises that I need. <laughs> I'll actually just take Sina and Asuvais because Cairo costs 98% of war score itself. Just take those two, it will be actually a shorter truce. And this is 45 development, so yeah, that's that's how it is. I think they, I need at least two wars to eat them fully. Yeah, you see, they will be left with those couple of provinces. Oh, they are of course rejected because it took a little bit too much, and it's fine. In the meantime, I start calling those provinces. Actually, to help myself annexation of the vassals a little bit, I am going to get this mission. So two nations have alliance with me and 150 opinion. I started improving with the Ottomans, and then I'll do a second nation, which will unlock me first of all diplomatic reputation and second of all diplomatic annexation costs for 25 years. Ottomans just called me there, I was, I was thinking that all oh, this must be a big war that Ottomans need my help. This is the war that Ottomans called me into, Iraq and Cyprus. Now that they said some reform progress, what I actually do can go for this, raising power again. So now when I'll be raising the provinces, it will be giving me 33% more power points. This is one big stonks for this. Portugal, of course, re allied Castile, and that's why I'm taking all of my major stacks over here. That's because Castile has 84 and Portugal 50,000 troops, but from what I've seen, France would like to join us too. Probably just lose war score for us <laughs> with this amount of troops, but it's fine. Let's go, attack. We've got a second try on the fleet right now. I know I'm not managing this thing correctly, but I just went like this. Because I know that I'm going to win, win it easily, so it's just annihilation. I can hide this for a month or two yet to just fix those ships and I'll be going for the straight. So it's even good that Castile joined this war because I need to take a couple of provinces from them for the achievement. So let me take a look. I'll need this province. I'll need this province. And that's probably it. From Portugal I need to take uh, one, two, those three. And this one. And the rest is right here. They are going to land in Cairo on 28th of May. So what I'm going to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven. Yes, that's the first step. Now I'm just going to arrive in this province. I'm going to ra uh, resist, scorch it. They'll be here on the 25th of June now. So by the time they arrive here, I should have my troops ready to fight them 25th of June. If we can... Oh, they landed in Sars as well. They were landing with two stacks. Oh, come on. We can do this. Let's get maybe a better general here. Come on. Yes. I should win it. Okay, but I'll need more troops. I need more troops. Come on, keep doing them. And now we can start having fun inside the borders. Uh, you can just basically go and carpet each. We have 5,000 nuggets now, so it's time to build second level of this monument. Pavement power again, we have plenty of this. Yes, there it goes. Now it gives us the tech cost, which allows me to take the 14th admin deck which unlocks the new idea group and over here i mean i will annex the vassals anyway quickly but we could go for influence for for this but i will not have enough diplo points to go for that or diplomatic but i'll go for influence it's fine yeah i have the idea cost right now so it costs me almost nothing and i'll be remember i'll be raising the provinces as well to make it even faster from castile as they're <laughs> mostly sieged i just want to break their alliance with austria break their alliance with portugal and give me all the african provinces so this one and this one that's it let's send the peace deal so left with portuguese right now i'm trying to get all of the small provinces around here here those three islands as well as as many oh, this will be tough I don't, i'm not sure if i have enough war score in the next war to take all of those provinces this will be a problem send the peace deal yes we are getting there and same process first of all let's embrace the institution actually this is super helpful and then yes let's raise and remember we took the government reform that's giving us more power points <gasps> and we are the limit of mil points by the way did not see that so let's see how many diplo points it will give us remember that we are a second ago at zero mil points because we spent everything on annexing the vassals as well as the ideas let's just do it everywhere now we have 170, even more, it's over 200, 240, almost for the new idea. And ideas will be coming because right now I'm going to finish off Semien. I could theoretically, if I take Soba from them, I should finish the next month. So let's go for it. Sisland, Soba, Tick. it's 112 now, Soba can be raised as well. And now I'm going to call it for 90 admin points, which I of course have. And see, there goes another one. So now, next month, within a month, tick. Semen will be next. Tick. Yes. Look at the map now. <laughs> it's even better. And now this is increasing very quickly. And it will help me a next new pack quicker. Let's see, we are earning right now 163 ducats. Uh, 163 ducats. Uh, 168, so it's not that much actually in Sevilla, right? We are having additional 4 ducats. To be honest, I expected more. Ottomans called me into the war against Commonwealth, which is meh, right? It's actually one of the best news that we could get. And this is why. Now, they can't protect Clemson. It's actually fine, I'm going to just attack Clemson right, right away just as quickly as we can in a month so we're gonna rush down both Clemson and Portugal so with Portugal we will shorten our truce to 5 years from 13 which we have right now and Clemson I can just fully annex start concurring everything and that's going to be easy peasy let's go let's go you need a battle leader let's go you just go, let's go, let's go. You're making my day, you have really plenty of power points so I can just bridge the walls however I want because we are finishing the campaign very soon. See, I just occupied all of this process and it's already almost doable to piece it out. So what if I go and blockade the capital? But I think it might be actually... See? 
Just split this in a half and blockade here as well. Just I'm afraid that will attack me in a second if the navy because they're stronger. 56 56. Waiting a month might also work. 56 56. Come on. I'm really afraid they would, they attack me with the navy. They can do it, especially with this admiral. 56 55. Thank you so much. Now the shorter truce is going to help a lot. And I will continue calling my provinces from the Portugal. With raised provinces from Clemson, I'm gonna take the third influence idea, which makes this 101% annexation of Nupe. So let's give it a month thing so the annexation is going to end. Sick. This is beautiful. So now we have 423 out of 462 provinces. I'm thinking a small army, let me just turn this on, on the border of Brittany, because next step is going to take care of those two provinces from them. Let's just show superiority. Easy, easy, easy. You land here. It's not even the capital. Where is their capital, actually? This is the capital! Okay, that was unexpected. Well, it's fine. Just take it over. I thought the capital would be in Europe, so that's why I focused actually on getting in Europe. Yeah, that's what I expected. So Fala Gold Mine just depleted. So I have 9 out of 18 diplomatic here, but did not affect our income much. So we are in the end game now, guys. I'm going to attack Tunis. I'm going to call Morocco as a co belligerent. Let's go. Let's go. And let's go. Truth of Portugal just ended. Let me try pissing out Morocco. Thank you so much. Show superiority. I just need a diplomat in 30 days. I should be able to piss out Mamluks now. Just need a diplomat. Diplomat is the biggest problem. I'll just cancel this guy actually. So, yes, I only need Kyra. Take it. Raise it. Concentrate it. And uh, we are left with Tunis and Granada. Why well, I'm gathering wars from Portugal and it is going to take a while. I have a war to declare oh, this guy's on Castile. Because they started colonizing again, but it's fine. Uh, let's just go for show superiority. Go for Leon, we go for Toledo. I'm just going to take over those colonies because those are still colonies that are ongoing. I'm not even going to burn it, I'm just going to seize it. Because if I burn it, they'll start colonizing here again. So you see over here, I can just do this. Seize colony. Ooh, best decision ever. So from Castile, I don't need anything else, but I'll keep doing the war in case they start colonizing something. Yes. Freaking Karibas landed here. And Brabant, how dare you? But in the meantime, I need to get those two colonies from Brittany. So I'm just going to declare the truce break war. She's fine. Decrease this. Okay, two, one. And I'm going to uh, actually burn those colonies because I'm already paying how much? 34 for colonial maintenance. So there's no need to pay more than that. So we are only left with provinces from Portugal to be taken. Yes, we got this, guys. So, peace out, Portugal. Is this core or own provinces? It's a course. Okay, it's fine. So just now, we need to count that freaking Portugal will not start colonizing new provinces out of nowhere. Because I need to core those provinces. By the way, guys, I did not notice this. The truce break kind of hurt us. But you see, that's almost around 40 everywhere, so... We should be still fine. <laughs> they keep trying, they keep trying and getting new provinces colonized, but I'm burning every single colony Castile is trying to do. And we just need to stay like this until December 1595. So even if somebody starts colonizing now, it won't matter. The colony needs to be finished. Look, Castile is trying their best, look. No, you won't have the African power achievement, will not allow you to do that. Oh, air will die. Mm, that's too bad. It was a good air. We'll get a better one, I guess. So, sick, sick, sick. Sick. Now, to make it even more beautiful, cease. Cease. So, it's looking even better. And now, we go here. 
Ta-da! African power. I promised you before 1600. We are before 1600. <laughs> Barely, but before. I think, like, I mean, look at my stats. Maximum power, amount of money, amount of income. It's all about the, the colonies now. Uh, good with decks, good with ideas. So I did not even have to ruin my country to, to make it. Which means that we could make it way faster if we wanted to ruin the country. But there was no need for that. It was a chill 1596 speedrun. And this is it for this campaign. So guys, if you enjoyed this type of content, let me know in comments what type of the challenge you'd like to see in the future. And of course, if you enjoyed this series, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you soon.